The first clothespin was invented in the early 1800s by the Shakers. It was a cylindrical piece of wood with a vertical notch cut into the bottom. In 1853, an American inventor patented a spring-loaded two-piece lever clothespin. That's the type still produced today in both plastic and wood. This Czech company makes clothespins out of beech wood. Beech is ideal because it's hard and durable. When the logs arrive at the factory, an automated bandsaw slices each one laterally into 7 cm thick planks. Wood is naturally damp, so it's critical to dry the planks. Otherwise, clothespins made from them would repeatedly expand and contract with temperature changes and eventually crack. First, the planks air dry outdoors for about 7 months, until their moisture level drops to 20%. Then the planks go into a kiln for three or four weeks to bring the moisture level down to between 8 and 10 percent. The wood now stable, workers cut the planks into shorter, more manageable lengths. Then into 7 by 7 centimeter blocks. Next, they feed the blocks into a cutting machine. Its four circular blades simultaneously saw through each block, cutting it into five pieces. Each piece is nine-tenths of a centimeter thick. As these thin pieces exit the machine, workers inspect them. Any pieces with knots or other flaws are removed and sold to a factory that makes mouse traps. The pieces which pass inspection go into an automated milling machine. It cuts each piece into four smaller pieces. Then, in each smaller piece, carves the shape of a clothespin clip on the front and a notch in the back. So each thin piece of wood has gone from this, to this, to this. The notch on the back will hold the spring that mates two clips and produces the tension they need to grip. The next machine saws four lines down each piece, cutting it into five identical clips. Before and after. All that cutting leaves rough, splintered edges. So workers now load the clips into a sanding barrel. As the barrel revolves, the clips rub against each other, the abrasion gradually smoothing the rough wood. Workers also place a piece of wax amid the clips. As the barrel turns, particles rub off and coat the wood, making it even smoother. Meanwhile, another automated machine makes the springs out of 1.5 mm thick iron wire. The wire has a zinc coating on it to prevent rust. Watch in slow motion how the machine twists the wire seven times to make the coil portion of the spring, then bends the ends to make the part that fits into the notch. With all the parts ready to go, it's assembly time. Workers load clips and springs into separate chutes of the assembly machine. As each spring drops down, a mechanical finger pushes the end aside to clear the way for a pair of clips to encase the coil. Then it releases the end of the spring into the clip notches. The machine does all this at a rate of 8,000 clothespins per hour. The finished clothespins drop onto a conveyor belt that transports them to the next machine, which groups them by the dozen. From there, it's off to the packaging machine, which is preset to assemble a specific retail format. This is a 36 count package, so they've set the machine to stack three dozen clothespins. After placing a paper label on top, the machine shrink wraps the package. Clothespins may be a rather ordinary product, but one whose reputation is always on the line. <laughs>